everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and you caught me prepping this canvas for another cloud pearl pour. And uh, so this is a 12 by 16 canvas that I just uh, primed over the other day to uh, reuse for practice. And uh, I'm gonna use my cloud pearl recipe and do something similar to what I did the last um, painting. I want to prove out that that technique works. So I'm going to pour another cup. This is a three ouncer. I'm going to put a little more in it because this canvas is bigger than the last one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to layer a cup, set it aside, pour the base, layer the colors in my puddle, pour this over the top of it, and see what we get. I did do a couple adjustments to the paints because in my last one, the, uh, this blue didn't show up. So I added some modern masters to this, which is, I believe it's an opaque color because this didn't show up at all and it was really bothersome. I wanted this to show up and the green didn't really show up either. So I added a little more um, golden pale green to this, Titan green, which is another opaque color. This is a, set, is a transparent. I can't believe it showed up so well. So I'm gonna layer my cup. I'm also gonna use my base coat in the layering and we'll see what we get. I get close to covering the bottom here. Hope you can see me. No, last time I was too far off camera. So that's what I got in here for the, uh, the base color. I'm gonna rotate that through like I did last time. It's the Modern Masters mixture. Go to the green. And turquoise. This is Golden's turquoise. Back to the blue. Lay down some of the base coat. That's the Cloud Pearl recipe in there. So just like the last painting, I'm rotating around the colors a couple of times, and in between different layers, I'm putting in some base coat. And I'm double timing through here just to save some time. Even double timing, you can see what I'm doing, but I did want to show you so you see the layering. And I do place the cup down on an angle so it doesn't mix. And then I'm going to close up my paints and restart in a second. My son just went off to get fitted for his uh, suit. My husband is off playing golf. All right, let's uh, get my colors down. How do I want to do this? And let's just do maybe like, just like that. Boom, like a V. Oops, well, I guess that started that. So I'm going to pick up the pace here. You see the design I'm making. That was the Payne's Gray by Arteza. This next color is uh, Amsterdam's Violet. And both of these colors are opaque. And then after that, I'm going to lay down the Venetian Rose by Arteza, which is another opaque color. And I'll be back to call out the rest in a second.
That's my DecoArt Extreme Sheen and Modern Masters Iridescent Gold. And I'm being very sparing this time because last time it took over. I like gold, but I don't want it to be everywhere. And then the last color I put down is the uh, Artezas Bordeaux Red. So now that I have all the puddle colors down, I'm going to pick up the cup, as you see, and do a straight pour or a ribbon pour in various directions. I just want to have more color represented, and these are different colors than any of the colors I laid in the puddle. I liked the way these colors interacted the last painting, and I wanted to see how it was going to do this time on a larger playing field. So then I have remembered to torch it. And I'll tell you what, this cloud pour recipe does not really get any bubbles to speak of, either in the base or in the colors itself. And then one thing I discovered here, because I didn't take the paint over the edge or even up to the edge, the, uh, the colors were kind of stuck. They didn't want to move very well together. So I have to so I have to add more paint to the edges. And what's captured my attention here is that flat out turquoise abyss going on that I'm trying to stretch out to see if I can get any colors revealed underneath. And like with all of the cloud pearl technique, once you've tilted in one direction, make sure you try to tilt it back because it's in the stretching the paint away from the edges that it creates those pearls. Wow. I'm happy with this combination. This is working. This is working. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Let me look at you. Let me look at you carefully. And this pink, this pink is just gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna add some more. That Venetian rose. Just gorgeous. Love this color. Don't want to overdo it. My usual thing. 
look at my signature. Oh my God, this is coming in so pretty. I don't even know what to do. It's so pretty. Where was I? Because I am not done playing with you. But it's so pretty. Once again, I'm just I'm just highlighting what's already here. There's just these pretty lines in here. See where we are over here. Oh, geez. This cloud effect is so pretty. It's so pretty. Some more pink here. This Venetian rose is gorgeous. I say so myself. It's amazing what you can do with a straw. You can direct it, you can shape.
flip. I'm loving this one, folks. I love this one. And add, add more pink again. I'm, I'm in love with this pink. I can't get enough of it. Now as I go, it's gonna somewhat be swallowed up in the, uh, in the cloud. Add a little bit of gray to it to uh, contrast it a little bit. Follow the pattern. Let it speak. That accentuates it nicely, it kind of highlights it. Oh, god darn it. Just put a little petal in there. So, like I've done before, when you drip. Just put a little, uh, put the cloth down, paper towel, and you dab it up. And you try to do it quickly. Let's retire that one. That's why you always have a couple extras of these guys. Add a little more pink again. Played with you. So there's some interesting things going on up here with this turquoise. It is really clouding up where I pulled. It turned into like pearls. It's very weird. I'm telling you, I love this one. I love it. Let's take a look at this. I gotta have more pink. Pink keeps getting swallowed. lay enough down it'll stay. Well I think I'm pretty much done. I think I'll show you where we are and I might touch it up a little bit but we're already 40 minutes in and I don't want to spend all day. I will edit this down. So this is where we are. I don't know, folks. I really like this. It's gonna look beautiful on its end. So thank you for tuning in. And uh, I'll get this edited down and hopefully dry and everything will be great. But I'm, it's not done developing it. It's gonna keep going. I love it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And I'll be back for some more of this, believe me. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. Till next time. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. Share with your friends and ask them to subscribe too. Thanks and see you next time.